Good News, and I'm your anchor, Johan Ko and David Jo. So David, I heard there was uh, this crazy man who's been killing everyone um, in Jerusalem, right? Yes, Johan. He has recently been spotted in Bethany and in various places. And man, he has been showing extraordinary miracles. And that's right, everyone. And so we sent four of our most talented, most handsome, most qualified, most everything to send you guys the footage. Reporter Jin. And so I'm here with Jesus and his disciples. I'm following Jesus uh, where his mir next miracles might happen. Let's follow him. Oh wait, he stopped. Rabbi, who sinned? This man or his parents that he was born blind? Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Go and wash in the pool of Siloam. Sir, sir, can you see? Can you see? Uh, uh, I, I can see. I can see. Next up, we have Jesus healing a paralyzed man in a crowded house. Jesus is teaching the Pharisees and teachers of the law who come from Galilee and from Judea and from Jerusalem. It's very crowded, but we have here this paralyzed man's friend trying to help this paralyzed man get down to Jesus. And here we have the paralyzed man. Friends, your sins are forgiven. I tell you, get up. Wow, the paralyzed man is getting up. Pick up your mat and go home. This is fascinating. I will. I will. The paralyzed man just stood up from his place. This is so awesome. Didn't you have one more miracle to report about? Is that right, Mr. Kim? Yeah, Johan, I'm right now at Bethany where Lazarus has been buried. He has been dead for four days and Jesus is here. And the stone has been rolled away. Let's take a look. Thank you, Lord, for hearing me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come out, Lazarus. Wait, I see someone coming out. Oh, what is that? Take no. off your grave clothes and let him go. This was Chinsa King, bring your life from Bethany. Thank you, reporter Kim. Next up is my little brother, Jonathan. Hey, bro, what's up? Hello, we are in one of the towns and we have Jesus here. Oh, and a man with leprosy comes along. Let's check it out. Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. I am willing. Be clean. Don't tell anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest and offer the sacrifices that Moses commanded for your cleansing as a testimony to them. 
Another amazing miracle of Jesus. Let's go to the next miracle. Okay, we're coming down from the mountain and there's there's a big crowd and maraming tao and oh look, look there's Jesus and Father Teacher, I'm begging to look at my child. You unbelieving and perverse generation. Bring your son. Evil spirit, come out! Wow, he is healed. Amazing. Yeah, Jesus is met by a crowd on a mountainside and he says a few words and the sick are healed. This is an unbelieving side of Jesus' miracle. But wait, there's more. When Jesus leaves the vicinity of Tyre and goes to the Sidon through the Sea of Galilee into the region of Decapolis, he is met by some people who bring him a man who is mute and deaf. Is that right, Jonathan? Oh uh, yes, Johan, uh, we are here in the region of uh, Decapolis and here we have, uh, no, we have Jesus and a deaf and mute man. Uh, let's take a look. Jesus is doing some... What is happening here? J J Jesus! J what? Jesus! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> miracle of Jesus. Thank you, Johan. It was Jonathan Ko. Yeah, that is truly amazing. Yeah, just by touching the man's tongue and ear, the man was healed. How could this be? All right, we'll see you after the break. Welcome back everyone, I'm here with uh, Professor Shin and there was a video that went viral on the internet and let's take a look. Whoa, whoa! No, whoa! No way! No way! No way! How can this happen? We poured water. What? No way! This what? is the best wine I've ever tasted. What? Wow. So, Professor Shin, what exactly happened? Oh, so on the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee and Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. Uh, when the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine. And Jesus said to the woman, Woman, why do you involve me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Oh, and nearby stood six stone jars, and kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washing, each holding from 20 to 30 gallons. Wow. And Jesus said to the servants, fill the water, fill the jar with water. And okay. so they filled them in, uh, filled them to uh, the brim. And then he told them, now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. And they did so. And the master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine. Thank you, Professor Shin, for the details. Uh, we'll move on to... Um, reporter Chinchilla, are you there? Hey, we're on a boat on the lake um, with Jesus and the twelve disciples. I'm not sure where Jesus is, but the wind is the wind is powerful and the waves are massive. Uh, I can't control it. I think I'm sorry to say we're going to drown. <laughs> 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 
Master, 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 I think we're going to drown. The rain stopped. This is a miracle. Thank you, the reporter, the chinchilla. Where is your faith? Okay, next. We have recorded Jesus walking on water with an interview with Simon Peter done by reporter Chinchilla. Hey, Johan. So we are here with the 12 disciples on a boat and we're headed somewhere. Um, I'm not sure, but um, I have here um, Simon Peter, so let's go check. So, introduce yourself. My name is Simon Peter, one of the disciples of Jesus. Um, um, where is Jesus Christ right now? Uh, he said he's gonna go pray on the mountain, so he said to us to go first, so we're going where he said to go first. Are you sure? Um, where do you think you're headed right now? We are headed, you know, we are in Sea of Galilee, but he said to go to the other side. So we are going to the other side. Okay, thank you. Um. It's a ghost! Take heart. It is I. Do not be afraid. Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. Come! Billy! Look! Save me! Oh, you of little face, why did you doubt? Truly, you're the Son of God. Can a man really walk on water? Thank you, Juan. This was the reporter, the Chinchilla. Thank you, reporter Chinchilla, for the reports from the sea. Next up, we have a photo that's been going around the internet. Let's take a look. As evening approached, the disciples came to Jesus and said, This is a remote place, and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy themselves some food. But Jesus replied, they do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. And they answered, We have here only five loaves of bread and two fish. Then Jesus said, Bring them here to me. And he directed the people to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the people. They all ate and were satisfied. And the disciples picked up 12 basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. The number of those who ate was about 5,000 men, besides women and children. How many fish and bread did your parents give you? Um, I, I think it's two fish and two, um, five, five bread. Yeah, five bread. All right. Now, why did you give those fish and bread to Jesus because um, the man the Jesus he needed to feed 5,000 men oh he's so cute oh, that young boy is very generous and he seems to have great faith yeah and we know a centurion who also has great faith and reporter Myungshin will be reporting I'm on the way to Capernaum with this man who is a centurion and he's going to ask for help from Jesus to heal his servant. Let's go check it out. Okay, he stops. Lord, my servant lies at home paralyzed, suffering terribly. Shall I come and heal him? Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority, with soldiers under me. I tell this one go, and he goes, and that one come, and he comes. I say to my servant, do this, and he does this. 
Truly I tell you, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. I say to you that many will come from the east and the west and will take their places at the feet with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the subjects of the kingdom will be thrown outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Go, let it be done just as you believed it would. Okay now, the centurion has left. And now... Wait a second. Hello? No way. Alright, alright. We just got a call that the servant has been healed. This is another miracle done by Jesus right now. Wow. Such great faith that centurion had. I wish I... Breaking news, everyone. Uh, we just got a call that Judas Iscariot has betrayed Jesus, and Jesus is being arrested right now. Uh, let's take a look. Garden of Gethsemane. Okay, so we're now in the garden, and Jesus is over here. Let's go check it out. Oh, you're going to die for the boy! Ah! Oh my god! No! No! no. Show me. Oh, oh. We're praying for him. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. Oh. It is you just... What just happened? Let's get out of here. Thank you, Meng Shin. Uh, that's all we got for you today, everyone. Thank you for watching. This was 4 News, and it was your anchor, Johan Ko and David Trump. We'll see you next time.